Welcome back this week. This is season five, episode six. I'm Gaston Rosato. And I'm Renzo Rosato. And today we're featuring this beautiful four-door saloon, the 1985 Series 2 Aston Martin Lagonda. That's right. And this particular car has an awesome history. So in this review, we're going to talk about that history and the Lagonda in general. That's right. We're also going to reveal what this car costs brand new. We have the original window sticker with us and it's going to be pretty surprising. Yes, it is. So stay tuned, guys. Hit that subscribe button for us and let's kick it off with the drive. here <laughs> you know this car there's not really a whole lot to say about the drivability it's just a luxury car right i think it's mostly about aesthetics design the radicalness of this car yeah exactly radicalness is, is the right word for it it's the rad it's a rad wood car this thing is speaking of radwood we got some pretty cool uh trophy recently with radwood so we'll talk about that in a little bit but it really takes you have to familiarize yourself with the pedals. My legs right now are shifted like this to the left. Yeah. The center tunnel is so large that it leaves no space for pedals. In fact, my left leg is completely up against the door just to make room for the right leg so you can switch between brake and accelerator. <laughs> it's very offset and it takes a little bit of getting used to. I love the steering wheel on this thing. And it's so small. It's a small steering wheel. It's just modern, contemporary, obviously pre-air, airbag era. Yeah. Very technological car for its age. Yeah. You know, we're talking about touch sensitive operational buttons here. You open up the hood, you open up the trunk, you have lights, you know, everything is with this touch of a button on this dash. You know, I guess it's pre touchscreen yeah, you know, technology. Exactly. Highly advanced. We're talking about a car that, you know, was introduced in, in the early 70s. I like guess 74, this car was introduced. Yeah. 76, it entered production. That's insane. That's just insane. We have a digital dash, <laughs> this massive pod right here, which I think is the coolest thing ever. And it's not the most comfortable car. The headroom is very low. I think, you know, that's because it's part of that wedge design. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's not terrible in terms of, of comfort. I have my power seats here. Yeah, tons of buttons here that operate your seats. Okay, so that's my back. This is the whole seat itself and this moves the base up and down okay cool so yeah, don't, touch it, don't touch it too much please. <laughs> <laughs> but it works so now I'm a little more comfortable this car is available for sale guys so please the link is down below yeah. you can uh, find the ad you can find the full gallery and of course you can find the asking price for this car yes and when we get back we'll talk about what the first owner paid for this car which is uh, the number to me that's just it's astronomical it's for 1985 crazy. crazy i mean this is a very long car no it's a very long car we had it parked right next to a bentley flying spur a modern day bentley flying spur and it's the same length so it, oh it is, really it's a long long car huh. Yeah, that hood just goes on forever. You can't, they, they can't even see the front of the hood. You have to be careful when you're maneuvering in tight spots because it's the hood plus the bumper. And it's like boxy. So it's, it's like very boxy and yeah. it goes out, yeah. It's cool because this, this is a car that you, you really don't see very often. I mean, we've been to tons of car shows. It's not a car that i seen before, you know, before we got this one here. All right. Well... That's going to lead us to a production numbers. No, 645 cars produced in a 12-year span. 
Yeah. From 1976 to 1990, the car was produced, and there's only 645 total. That's crazy. Well, you know, it's, a, it's another era of, of uh, manufacturing, right? I mean, yeah. Um, first of all, a tough time in the economy as far as that's concerned. Plus the hand-built factor. Plus it wasn't a car that was ever meant to be like mass produced. Right. But it's certainly much longer production time than, than average cars. So like we mentioned in the beginning, this is a series two. So from 1976 to 1990, there was a total of four series produced. There's the four different iterations of the, of the Lagonda. So let's head back to the barn. Let's do a little walk around because there's a lot of cool design on this car. I'll yeah, let's talk to our viewers. Yeah, let's talk about the history of this actual car. It's pretty cool. I love yeah. it. Yeah, for sure. So guys, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned. We'll talk about price and we'll talk a little more about history about the car. All right, guys, it's time for our walk around. So I'm going to touch base on what you mentioned in the beginning, which was Aston Martin was dealing with some financial pressures in the early 70s and they always focused on two plus two sports cars. So this was really like their first four door saloon, um, which grabbed a lot of attention and brought a lot of necessary funds. Yeah. So it's a car that definitely helped them, you know, continue to- it put them like, you know, left them on the map. Not exactly, left them, left on, them the on the map. So the, the name, Aston Martin Lagonda. Lagonda is a marquee that Aston Martin had bought back in 1947. That's right. So they, they go back to that history and the name- Right, of the it was car. kind of like a tribute to that original company Lagonda. Exactly, exactly. Radical so, design. Yeah, the wedge shape design. Beautiful. Big 70s design. Um, I mean, it's just beautiful. I mean, I think it's beautiful. I, I'm sure a lot of you guys are looking at this car saying, what the heck is that? It's a love or hate relationship, it really <laughs> is. But either you love it or you hate it. I personally love it. Moving on to the engine, this is a hand-built 5.4 liter, four cam aluminum V8. Producing about 280 horsepower. Um, like we said, this is series two. In 1986, the Series 3 was introduced, and that was the first car with the fuel-injected system, and only 75 of those cars were produced. Incredible, huh? Crazy. Incredible. I think the production numbers on this is, just blows my mind. It's so low. I love this back sunroof for the passenger. Yeah, I mean, how and cool the, is the, that? It's, it's really cool. You know? Super cool. So let's talk a little bit more about this car. Tell me yeah. a little more about this car. This is a two owner car with only 9,000 miles. Okay, the car was purchased brand new. It's been a Miami car its whole life. The first owner buys it for his wife. This is a story that the second owner told me. Okay, so it was a true story. He buys it for his wife. She drives it one time, totally hates the car. <laughs> she doesn't know the functions between opening the hood, the trunk, the doors, the wipers. It's just a mess for her. I mean, it can be very confusing, so. She said, that's it, no more, I'm not driving it anymore. The butler uses the car for the better half of its life up to 2011 to and from the store. That's all the car was ever used for. Second owner buys it, he's a collector. Right. And just had it in the collection, didn't really drive it much. So now we have it here available for sale. And the car is so documented, we have the MSO, which is a certificate of the origin certificate of the manufacturer. It has copies of, of letters from Lagonda USA, the CEO to the owner, the bill of sale, manuals. I mean, the car is so well documented. And not only is it well documented, I mean, look at the color and the, co the color combination of this car, that, that light interior, the, the blue outside, you have the blue steering wheel. I mean, you yeah. saw those The car crush. originally had blue piping in the interior. Oh, really? And the owner did not want that. It was sent back and redone. There's, the, again, all that is documented in there. Let's pop that hood though so we can see that. Yeah, engine. let's do that. Holy cow. This is the first time I'm looking at the engine of this car. Yeah, massive engine compartment. You know, again, highly, highly advanced car for its time. That is cool. The car is a hand-built steel platform chassis, hand-formed aluminum body. The design is from William Towns. I mean, this car recently did get featured on some articles, right? Yeah, this car was recently featured on Autoblog. You can look that up and we'll put a link on that in the description also. And more recently, it won Radis Tech Award <laughs> from Radwood uh, thanks to the drive. So the drive awarded the car Radis Tech. Awesome. And there's going to be an article coming out on the drive on this car. And hopefully by the time this video comes out, it will be live and we'll also link that in the, in the description down below. That's right. I mean, 
This car was nice to take a ride in it and to look at it, but I want to experience it. I would like to drive it. Your turn. So let's, let me jump in there. interesting car to drive. You definitely have to get used to those pedals being offset like that. When I got in, I pressed on the gas instead of the brake. But again, it's not about the, the driving experience yeah. of this car. It's all about the aesthetics, the look, yeah. the design, the history. No, that's definitely it. That's I mean, it's all about. Such a nice thing to look at. So like we promised, guys, we're going to talk about what the first owner paid for this brand new back in the 80s. So yeah. what was that? Again, we have a and copy of the actual check he used to pay for this car and incredible. the bill of sale. And it was $150,000 <laughs> back in 1985. That is huge money. That's huge money today, brand new. I mean, if you buy a hundred fifty thousand dollar car brand new today, that's that's, that's a, a lot, lot of money. money. So, so back in the eighties, to write a check for one hundred fifty thousand, that's incredible. Yeah. Today, we're asking, you know, a, a different price. Yeah. It's <laughs> below that. You're gonna have to go to the link to check it out. That's right. But these cars are climbing, and they've already climbed. They were much much cheaper a couple of years ago. Yeah. So you know, again, a piece of history, demand, value, all that goes into play definitely and uh it's a true collector a guys true collector. i want to hear your opinion on this car because i know there's a lot of mixed feelings out there for this so let us know down below what you think of the car we would love to hear from you yeah in I'm, the meantime please yeah. follow us on instagram again all links down below like always hit that subscribe button yes guys we'll be here next week i'm gaston rosato and i'm renzo rosato peace out peace.